Coming up on the Buckeye Guard, airmen train with 82nd Airborne, soldiers fire artillery rounds in Hungary, and military police perfect their peacekeeping skills in Serbia. down here in North Carolina helping the paratroopers over here at Pope Air Force Base jump out and get their qualifications and stay current. So the actual jumping portion for us isn't as labor intensive as the front end. So the rigging process and everything beforehand before the flight is really where we cash in our checks. That's really where we're working the hardest. But also the in-flight portion, we're, we're helping out as well. So it could take, depending on how fast you are, a couple hours to, to get ready. So everything that they're seeing is already done before they get there. As they're jumping out, that's four hours of work that we put in to get it all ready for them to jump so everything is safe. So I think it's really important for us to, to be in these kinds of missions because we don't get to do this all too often. And just even that one or two reps that we get prepares us for the real thing. And, and I think nothing actually prepares you for combat, like combat, but if, you know, this shapes off that half second or second that you need, and a lot of times that half second can be the, the difference between somebody living or dying. The heavy equipment, kind of like paratroopers, is something that we don't get to do a ton, and it's extremely versatile because we're dropping a bunch of different stuff, and just like combat, you never know what you're gonna be dropping, so this allows us be able to do different things and then get ready for those situations where you know we see something that's different. This is uh, the only thing that can get us ready. I mean, just like any other profession, the more you do it, the more perfect you'll be. And even perfect isn't perfect. And I think that practice gets you to that point to where you're executing everything uh, to a T. I think when you think about flying, you might think uh, just about pilots, but every single position on the aircraft is important. I mean, from the navigator to the engineer to the load masters in the back, which you might not think about, but everybody plays a part in the overall mission. And when everybody's firing on all cylinders, that's when we get the job done. Ohio's Combined Arms Battalion, the 1st Battalion of the 145th Armored Regiment, readied their tanks, Bradleys, and weapons systems this spring. We've been here at Fort Knox for about a month now, preparing for any future follow-on missions. Been able to go through all of our gunnery tables and been able to do a lot of our individual soldier readiness activities as well, such as uh, individual weapons qualifications, reserve weapons qualifications, and some maneuver training that we're getting ready to get into today as well. The battalion is working hard to integrate its newest members and ensure its crews are ready to fight. I've worked with probably half of my platoon uh, regularly for the last year. Um, my crew itself I got about five weeks ago, so we had to spin up and get together really, really quick. Same thing with my, uh, my wingman tank. Overall, the platoons are meshing with very short notice. Uh, very short windows for gunnery, very short windows for collective training, uh, but all in all, I could not be more pleased with the performance of my soldiers and uh, their ability to perform and execute the mission tonight. Eager to develop their readiness, the battalion is grateful that they have the resources of Fort Knox at their disposal. Well, we're just happy to be here at, uh, at Fort Knox, being able to get out in the terrain, being able to open up the weapon systems, and having this month long of continuous training so we can just keep building on, on uh, everything we came down here to do. The facilities here have been uh, fantastic work with the staff here has been excellent to work with. We've had lots of receptive training and focus uh, from the staff here as well. Um, overall, we'd love to come back here and train and shoot tanks again. The 200th Red Horse Squadron, an Ohio Air National Guard unit based out of Camp Perry in Port Clinton with a detachment in Mansfield, deployed recently for an innovative readiness training project at Camp Camasa in Crystal Springs, Mississippi. Their mission was to help with the construction of Mississippi's first fully accessible year-round camp facility for children and adults with serious illness and physical and mental challenges. More than 80 airmen from the squadron helped to build cabins and excavate for roads and a bridge.
Two Ohio National Guard field artillery batteries fired their guns in joint operations during Breakthrough 19, an exercise hosted by Hungary, one of Ohio's partner nations in the state partnership program. So right now we have Alpha and Bravo Battery, first the 134th Field Artillery Regiment out of uh, Pickle, Ohio and Delaware, Ohio. And right now we're training with uh, Hungarian forces, some National Guard units and uh, another active duty unit. This exercise has really generated a platform uh, to improve our interoperability, which definitely gives us uh, extras uh, regarding readiness, uh, regarding being able to cooperate uh, and mutually execute orders. The exercise was invaluable experience for the soldiers of the regiment. This uh, Hungarian uh, range here outside of Camp English allows the soldiers to uh, fire indirect fire, direct fire at once, which are opportunities they usually don't get stateside just because of the ranges we have. So this is quite a unique experience for these new soldiers. Over here we're shooting 119 or Alpha 3s, relatively new to us. This is our second year fielding them, so awesome to bring them over and get a chance to shoot in some foreign soil and try out these new howitzers for us. It was an opportunity made possible by the strong partnership between Ohio and Hungary. We do have a common language with the Ohio National Guard. It's helped a lot, not just to organize the exercise, but of course to receive the participating uh, artillery unit uh, and, and facilitate the training and then create a, a good training environment uh, to achieve all the, the training objectives. Today we're out here to practice uh, several different uh, swift water rescue capabilities. We're going to be looking at the water coming off of a dam uh, to be able to rescue people who may be stuck there. We're going to move downstream a little bit where there's a bridge with pilings in the water. We're going to move down to those pilings, learn how to rescue people who might be stuck up against them, and how to maneuver the boats and how to swim uh, around the eddies that are created when the water goes past those pilings. Whether it's walking a boat, actually operating a boat, you know, to be able to get to victims that are on the roofs, kind of like in Hurricane Katrina, Harvey, several operations like that that entail navigating parts of water and then back to dry land and parts of water. If you don't have the proper training and the proper tools to be able to get that done, then you're just putting lives at risk, and that's what we're trying to avoid. This training is very important for us. It's showing us who our strong swimmers are, uh, so that when we have to put people in the water, we know who we're going to put in there, and uh, we're going to be safe about it. Uh, secondly, it's teaching us how to maneuver our boats uh, the proper way so that we can reach people who need to be rescued in the safest manner possible. We live in an area where a lot of emergencies happen, a lot of flooding, a lot of tornadoes. So this is a great capability for us to be able to offer the governor and the people of Ohio. The Ohio National Guard has fostered a 12-year-long state partnership program with the Serbian Armed Forces. This dedication of partnership has led to a variety of exercise and training events that have strengthened both nations. Platinum Wolf 2019 is a shining example of the interoperability of the Ohio National Guard and participating members of Operation Platinum Wolf and their willingness to work together to achieve common security goals. Operation Platinum Wolf 2019 consisted of many different training events featuring the Ohio National Guard's 838th Military Police Company from Youngstown, Ohio. Platinum Wolf consisted of urban operations training, foot patrols, weapon ranges, non-lethal training, and much more. These areas of training helped not just to strengthen the 838th Military Police Company, but also work to create a dialogue between many nations for future cooperability. But well, one they take away is being able to work with other countries. Um, seeing how other people do uh, the same kind of training is a, great, uh, is a great asset. Platinum Wolf is a multinational exercise that has provided the perfect medium for communication between nations through training and through their soldiers learning the best practices and principles from each other. To see more about the Ohio National Guard, go to ong.ohio.gov or follow us on Facebook and Twitter.